My name is Michael Henning from PV Bureau in Germany. And we got a call from a customer and he has a problem on his plants. So that means one inverter produces less energy than the other one. And we go for and we will find the mistake and the problems. For this, for this we use a power supply. It called the PV surf. For this, we use the PV surf uh, to reverse current into the strings, into every single string, and then we can find out what happened in the strings from this inverter and what happened in this inverter. And then I'm sure we will find something what happened in this inverter because the output power is less than this one. So first we go for the dark IV curve. We take the dark IV curve. For this, we make a testing on one string and one single string. <clears throat> we make the test. That means we measuring the dark IV curve from this string and also in the same uh, and at the same time we make we change the polarity and we go forward into the string and we measuring the IV curve from the bypass diode. So, let's go. Now we are measuring the dark IV curve from the string and also uh, from the bypass diode. Nothing happens. So now it's running. Now maybe there is a diode break, something. No, I think we have the. Look, it's red and it's blue. So we go the wrong way. You see, here it's a dark IV curve from the from the from this string. This is string number one. Now we come to string number two. Is it okay? Yeah. We reverse current into the string. Now we have to reduce the 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 power down to uh, the 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 current down to three amp. So and this is the result. It's quite good. So and we're looking now for. We take some images here, and we go from panel to panel. Uh, we have a look. So uh, we're looking for if there is if there are some big faults in the plant. We are not looking for very small cracks or something because this is not infected the, the output power so much on this plant. And sometimes we take some picture and it's uh, you can see and uh, later in the image in the computer very very good so all these panels looks good and uh, so we take some images here So, but we walk around, you know, and then we can find
So, and here we see the problem. There are two bypass diodes broken. You see, usually it looks like this. There are all the strings, okay. And if you go on this panel, you see there's here one string with 20 cells missing. And there is a string with 20 cells missing. And the next one is okay. You see? So, we found we, th we found the problem, we solved the problem. That's a different of around uh, 20, 20, 26 voltage on this panel. So, and that means the string, it's much lower. And uh, <coughs> this panel takes the power of the whole string down. That's why we have a difference between the one inverter and the other inverter. Thank you.